Shalom. Shalom. Like, start off by giving all praise, glory, honor, respect. Going to Yahweh. By Shalom. Yahweh Shai. I think a double honor to the elder apostle, the true leaders of the nation of Israel set up on earth to teach today. And salutations to the Akim, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. Hey, we just went on going to this lesson, man. And deal through the spirit. This right, because uh, this was it's inspired basically by daily dealings, you know. You know, and because uh, this world that we in, you know, it makes us angry. You know, uh, and uh, it, it makes us mad, you know, but we're going to get into it, you know, how we're supposed to conduct ourselves as men of the Lord, you know, because the afflictions and the trials, they're not getting easier, they're getting harder, you know. So you got to pray to Yahweh Bashim El Shai for, uh, for understanding in these situations and uh, the wisdom to get out of it, you know. So we're going to start with this scripture. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroys the heart. You know, the other day, man, we, we getting oppressed daily, man. Through, through, through everything, man. Going to job, dealing with the nigga woman, everything. Even just seeing random shit on the TV or hearing random shit on the radio, man. Seeing a train walk past you. It's just, it's all wicked, man. And and that that type of shit is a vexation of the spirit, man. Because we use these scriptures that's frontless, like how Moses said to. And through that, we, we understand all the bullshit, man. We see what's real and what's fake, man. We see what's supposed to, what, what, how it's supposed to be. And then we see what it really is in America, living in America today. And it just, it, it vex the fuck out you, man. Because... According to the scriptures, man, we're supposed to live this type of way. We're supposed to do these type of things. Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Come. And then on top of that, it's just, it's like, man, it's just all type of folly, man. Right, it's, it's, it, in America, the folly, uh, folly is set in, in great dignity in this place. Come. You know, it's, uh, um, it's, it's widespread foolishness. You know, well, you know, Jake, like uh, me and the brother was watching, uh, you know, Jake uh, is a puppet, man, and with, with rap videos and all type of shit, man. You know, yeah, it's entertaining, but at the same time, these is the things was glorified on this side. Instead of, instead of Yahweh Baal Shem being Shai being glorified, this, uh, this foolishness and this folly is being homosexuality, a woman, an independent black woman, or an independent woman, woman's rights, uh, 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 Esau over over us as a nation, you know, all these things is glorified you know, on this side, you know, but the real men of the Lord, we understand the truth. I got two, you know, no, yeah, and you know. I'm still on that dude around the This is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6. It says, folly is set in great dignity. Folly is set in great dignity, you know, which is, which is, is highly esteemed in this place. You know, a video of a damn cat saying meow would get 16 million views. You know what I'm saying? Which is, which, or, oh, that's, that's madness, man. That's, that shit is stupid, man. It's not that, you know, keep going. And the rich sit in low place. And, and the rich sit in low place. So you got people glorifying animals over over the Israelites. You got people uh, glorifying cars and and uh, money and jewelry over over the heavenly Father. You know, which is which is which is which is complete foolishness. It's all vanity. You know, right. and the rich the rich sitting low. And who is the rich? The elect. The elect uh, in in. In situations that uh, are hard, are hard for the average Jake to deal with patiently. You know, an average uh, Israelite that deal we deal with wouldn't be able to. You know, and, and they the lose it. You know, um, the whole deal is, see, see, we understand what it is. 
according to the scripture. So once we once we get to understand it, man, it 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 vets you even more because you understand how it's supposed to be. And I got a scripture to back that up. This is Ecclesiastes chapter one, verse eighteen. It says, "For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth in knowledge increaseth in sorrow." And that and that's true. You know, because this, 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 basically, this supreme wisdom that we've been given has, has enlightened us on a level, level far beyond imagination. You know, and the things that people glorify in this world, it vexes our spirit. You know, it, it turns our stomach because it's beneath us. You know, it honestly, uh, Everybody out here really act like they anybody other than elect or or someone who knows for the time being, you act you they act like animals. You know, hump here, hump there, give me this, give me that, you know, it's says dog eat dog in in the society. You know? Which is let me read it again, brother, because that's you know. And then after that, get a get a Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 18 again. For in much wisdom is much grief. So much wisdom, you're going you gonna to get much grief. Scriptures say many of are the afflictions of the righteous. You know, you may get a job to wear hell. Like me, I, 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 you know, I deal with chemicals. You know, so I had to trim some of my beard on the side. If if I had to put on a mask, you know, to, to protect myself from these uh these acids, you know, that we use to make uh, these batches, you know, but I I gotta eat, and this the job that was given to me, you know, I mean, I, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know, or or your fucking nigga woman, man, you honestly gotta abase yourself at a level to even deal with a nigga woman, you gotta really come low, you know, as far as a mental state to even deal with, with a woman, any woman, you know what I'm saying, whether it's a damn he, a, a heathen bitch or an Israelite bitch, you know, and the, and the state that the nigga woman mind is in, you got to come even lower, man. And see, all that go back to that Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, the first scripture we brought up, because all this, it, it makes us mad because... And once you, it, in Romans 15 and 4, it say, hey, the thing you're in four times is running for our learning. So back then, man, we didn't have to go through this, man. Uh, we went through it, but it wasn't it, on this level, it, you know. Because our women still had, they still knew, they, they had some type of order. But come. now, now it's, it's like, it just, it's just, it's completely fucked, man. It's ridiculous, you know. Like, it's, it's, it's actually, it's, it's, it, it's ridiculous, <laughs> you know. I mean, the children, no respect in the home. They all like, like the scriptures say, wild bulls on every edge of the way, which is on these corners. You know, I mean, that like the scriptures say, there's no soundness in it from the head to the foot. You know, our nation is 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 destroyed, just like the scriptures say. These curses shall overtake us until we be destroyed. And as a nation, we're destroyed. You know, like like Paul said, he said, I could have wished that I'd be a curse from my shiach, from my brother and my kinsmen according to the flesh. He said, I could do it, but I wish I could do it, but you niggas is wicked, man. I like I can't do it. You know, look, look at what you're doing. You need you the only your only way of saving you is to destroy you. Death by pain. Death by pain. That's the only way to save you. It's punishment. It's getting your ass whooped. That's the only way of saving you. There's no other way. Like, if 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 there was some other way, shit. Lo and behold, I'm pretty sure a, a, a man of the Lord would have been sacrificed himself. Well, look at Yahweh Shai. If it was, if that was the case, Yahweh Shai would have sacrificed himself for all Israel to be. You know, uh, uh, exempt from judgment, but only only people that Yahweh allowed was the elect to be exempt from judgment. So two thirds, y'all still y'all y'all judgment is coming. 
for this or because of your disobedience. You know? And that's and that's vexing to even be around you niggas, man, to to have to humble down and hear your, your foolish conversations. I mean, the wickedness that you constantly talk about, you know, that's a vexation of spirit, man. You know? Mm. You know, I wanna keep rambling, but let's get some more scriptures. Finishing now verse eighteen and Ecclesiastes chapter one, it says, and he that increaseth in knowledge increaseth in sorrow. So if you the, the more the more you understand, that's why the more you understand this this understanding, this this truth, the more you understand and get closer to your how while your how is shy, the less you are attached to this world. You know, and and the more you get afflicted. You know, because now you're on a higher level. So every, uh, 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 like like Satan had to do deal with Job. Every demon can't deal with you on the same level. Once your spirit gets to a certain level and you're, and you're strong through the spirit in a certain level, a certain type of demon has to come in and tempt you. You know, so that's, that's another reason why, you know, through, through uh, you know, through longevity and 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 and, uh, and the truth and maturity, you know, it gets harder. You know, but like you know, me and the brother was talking earlier. The Lord don't put more on you than what you can handle. So if if the demons turn up, you know what's gonna happen. The Lord gonna turn up. The demons turn up. The Lord gonna turn up. So it's always it's always gonna be a balance. You know. And eventually, it's going to turn up to the point where we're going to get them spiritual powers, you know, and that's salvation, you know. When, oh. uh, the, get the, get the, uh, Isaiah, what do you the 60, uh, 60, the 33 and 6. 33 and 6, come. Because we in those times, you know, we in the last days, like, we in the, we in the third day, you know. We we are in we are in the final we are in the final uh, chapter you know so to speak you know so this wisdom and this understanding as you get the scripture and then I break it down. This is Isaiah chapter thirty three verse six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So wisdom and knowledge shall be with the stability of thy times. So. We're, we're in those times right now to where this wisdom and this understanding needs to be completely applied. Because if it don't be completely applied, you're going to fall by the wayside. You know, because in this place, every foul spirit, every foul everything is running rampant in this place, Babylon. You know, so you need this understanding to keep you on track. You know, so... So you know what to, when you, like the brother quoted, he told Moses, keep this like the frontless upon thy, bind them in thy hands and keep them as frontless upon thy eyes. Everything that's going on, we're supposed to feel through, through the scriptures. And you know, by, and by us studying to show ourselves approved, it, it's, like a, it's like automatic, you know, you, you filter something through the scriptures. But we still in these bodies, so we gonna make mistakes, you know. But but when we run into serious situations, we we use the understanding that Yahweh Shemaim Shai gave us, which is which is this, the the scriptures to uh, to guide us through these things. You know, you get to Deuteronomy next. Now get to Deuteronomy real quick. This right. is gonna go into it. This is Deuteronomy chapter four, verse five. Behold, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at one and skip down to five. Just to get get the point where who Moses is actually talking to because most people they try to pull it like well Moses may have been talking to certain people this that and other but we know through these scriptures man throughout the entire book it's only for the Israelites man this is our this is basically our constitution like the LD Rocker brought out so verse one says now therefore hearken O Israel unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you. For to do them that ye may live and go and possess the land which the power of your fathers giveth you. Skipping down to verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh my power commanded me, 
that ye shall do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. So this is our wisdom and our understanding in the sight of the nations. Even our own nation, because two-thirds ain't a part of Israel right now. As the scriptures say, as a man thinketh, so shall he be. In 2017, you think you're an Israelite? I mean, you think you're uh, uh, an African-American? African-American. So you be think it. you're uh, a damn Mexican or whatever the fuck you think you is. Whatever, man. We don't got time to deal with, be dealing with a Mexican. We don't got time to be dealing with a... A, 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 a Puerto Rican, an African American, an African American man, and that that's a heavy deal, man. Cause and, and that going to this scripture right here, this Hosea four and six, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt not be priesting to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High, I will also forget thy children, and the whole deal is, hey man, you reject this knowledge, man, cause. Because, look, you can go, you you can try to help out your people. And that's how it is when you first come to the truth. You try to tell everybody in your family, man, like, nah, we're not African-Americans. We're not black. Black is a color. African-America is two continents, this, that, and the other, man. You give them the whole rundown. But they be like, well, who, they don't, they don't, they don't believe you for the simple fact they knew who you was, who you used to be. But they don't see the change that's trying to come upon you, man. The, that the spirit is actually dealing with you, and that is the truth that's coming out. And see, it, it can be to the point where they actually know that it's the truth, but they just don't want to accept it because who it's coming from. It, 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 it's, it's, it's really fucked up, man. It's really fucked up. And that's why in um, Ezekiel, say a prophet is not a prophet among his own home, man. It's, it's, it's a heavy deal, man. And that goes back into that Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, man. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Because Esau pushed out all these bullshit ass doctrines that our people believe today, man. And now when the truth come around, even though without a shout of a doubt, it's the truth, man. You can't you can't gainsay it at all, man. They still go they still they, they're still rejecting, man. It, it don't matter because you gotta think about it. If Jake when they was on you gotta really like the like, the things that was written before time, hey. They seen the chariot of the Lord on top of Mount Sinai. They still made a calf. They still made the calf like this who saved us. And he, they seen Moses walk up the mountain. They seen him get in the chariot. They seen the chariot beam him up. And they still went off. These are those same, these are those same men coming back, taught their family wickedness. And children of those wicked men who, who basically is 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 a, a, a fire food. Basically. Fire food, fuel for the fire, you know. And I believe that go back to the um, Ecclesiastes, I believe it's one and nine, where it say um, there's no new thing under the sun, man. Right. Because it all happened before. Hey, man. Hey. It all happened. His, like, like they say, history repeats itself. And see, every little quote, like, and that's something I've come to realize more and more when I'm in the truth. Like, everything comes from the scriptures, man. Everything. Scripture teaches you how to do everything. Everything, man, regardless. How to throw a party. All that. Like, how, to, how to be when you under the influence of the liquor. Con. It, With, if you can't control your liquor, you don't need to drink liquor. Exactly. Like, the scriptures give you the whole breakdown. Then, and... and Teach you how to deal with your children, how to deal with, with your nigga woman. Exactly, like the scriptures is how really. To deal with your brothers. <laughs> it's really like, it's really a it's key. Life. Exactly, it's a key guide stone. Well, not a key guide stone. That's not the word. It is a guide. It Come. is a guide. It's the it's because this this is a blueprint. This that's, the blueprint. That's the word I was looking for. That's the word I was. You know, for. it is it, a guide to us. You Come. know, it's light. You know, so and it's. And this shadow of death that we in is the light that's leading us to those gates, to those chariots, and to the kingdom. Teach and, and that light being your have a shot. Oh. You know, because we wouldn't have got it if your have a shot didn't have mercy on us, thank God. 
You know, so uh, get a um, get a um, Ephesians four and six. I'm gonna go back into the um, Isaiah or the Deuteronomy. Uh, Ephesians. No, I'm talking about what we gonna go back to. Uh, let the spirit do this. You know, because at all these things, you know it, you know, it brings a, a certain type of vexation over you. And, you know, me personally, uh, my anger is at wit's end, you know, but your how about your mouth shies me, uh, keeping me, uh, keeping me in check through the occupant, you know, especially the elder you right, you know, uh, you know. He's been uh, he's been a good help to me, you know, as far as dealing with, you know, this bullshit, you know. If, if I may, yeah, it, and that's the whole thing. That's why you got the brotherhood, man, to help build you up and help you keep you standing firmly in the faith, man. Yeah, as the scripture says, the two is better than one, because when one falls, there's another to help pick him up. You know? and three is even better. Thank God. And, and and that's the deal, man. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't lying. Them, Shit. Them, <laughs> them brothers, man, they, they really out, man. When you feeling down. It's the escape from the world. Exactly. It's the escape from the world. Like, man, I mean, hey, back in the world, I used to have my homies, man. We used to be cool. And then I used to deal with the, the weed and shit. I used to get high. And that was my escape from the world. Once I came to the truth, it's like, I don't need none of that shit, man. Because I got the men of the Lord on my side. True brothers that actually, gonna, they going to actually help you build you up into the knowledge of the, that you got to think man so you can teach so you can be a figure and an example for other brothers come you know it's all it's all uh, we all going through this thing together you know uh, don't think you mad alone don't come. think you vexed alone or you so much angry alone because there's some brother somewhere on the island that's going through somewhere you don't even know or somewhere in some city that's going through shit way worse to you. So we just suck it up, deal with the portion that y'all about something that was shot gave you, and just pray for endurance, you know? Come and that's heavy that and you shared that. Bring that spiritual out though first, come, and then come. we can, you know, from, we don't want to ramble too much. Come. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6. One, the Most High, and Father of all, who is above all, through all, and four in. And, 4 and 26. 4 and 26, a lot. This is Ephesians chapter 4. Hold on. In 20. Yeah. yeah. 26? Yeah. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Be ye angry and sin not. So, be pissed off, but hold your temper. Because, hey, because Levi and Simeon, their anger is what, what made them do what they did. You know? And I'm a Levite, so I understand that that temper, you know. But through the Spirit, the Lord is 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 allowing you to be able to keep it in check, you know. So, you know, in these days, like, was your boss getting on your nerve? Whether it's the nigga woman getting on your nerve? Whether it's, whether it's a brother, you know, whether it's a brother that's uh, getting under your skin. You know, like, you can be upset about certain situations, but don't do nothing in your emotions, you know, that's, that's going to make you go off. You know, uh, like the scriptures say, a man that uh, cannot, uh, basically a, a man that can't control spirit is like a city uh, without walls, which you, with no defense. Basically, you don't have any defense, you know. Keep reading, brother. Back in verse 26 in Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Let not the sun go down upon thy wrath. So if you do go and do something angry, you go you go rectify that matter before the sun go down. So it don't escalate into some, some even more uh, troubles, you know. Read the next one. Verse 27. Neither give place to the devil. So don't give place to the devil. Don't give place to Esau. Don't give place to Shatan. Because 
and eating Esau in the job place, they try to get you mad so they can pull that angry black man role. You know, they pick on you, try to get you mad and get you to go off so they can fire you. You know, or you can do something to where you'll end up in prison, you know. So for something that's lawful, you know, but you'll end up in prison because in this society, we gotta learn how to conduct ourselves. Can I bring out this precept real quick? Okay, okay. This also, so lucky, I gotta get back there. I dropped it. So we all we all going through the rain, you know. So so basically just just uh, hold on, like we we almost out of this hell, you know. We almost out of this uh, place of torment. We almost out of this hell, this uh, this pit of a fiery affliction, you know. This is Psalms chapter 82, verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. So if you understand this, that they don't, they know not, neither will they understand. Once, once, once the Mosai cut you off and blind you, yeah, you can be mad, but don't do nothing that's going to jeopardize your salvation or it'll just jeopardize your freedom. Your soul to speak, because we are already slaves. But just that that jeopardize you uh, being uh, out and about, you know. So just do the things necessary and do it to the end, so we can get the hell out of here, you know. Because it's all it's over. It's it's over. Well, Trump announced we're close to the World War Three. Three World War Three is coming. But we've been in World War Three, you know. So just be cool, you know. Be safe, be smart. <laughs> Wrap it up. Wrap the minds right, you know. So with that, all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers. It's pushing the word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. Shalom. Shalom.